Hello, I'm sorry we have some technical problems. And I'm here with um, a dear friend of mine. She was my student and I was telling you guys before. She has graduated with me in 2012. And she is the one, the only Maria Elena. Uh, she, we're going to speak in English as Brazilians are coming in. We're switching back and forth between Portuguese and English. So, Maria Elena, the floor is yours. Tell them who you are. Jesse, how are you? Uh, please introduce yourself, my dear. Hello, you guys. Uh, you don't know me. I am a biologist. I graduated with Ho, as he said, in 2012. Uh, we did specially conversation classes. Uh, can you hear me fine? Is it okay? Okay. And Okay. And, and we, we did special conversation classes, a little bit of accent improvement. And uh, it was a joy for me. I, am, I now live in Sao Paulo. I, I graduated from college in 2013, I think. And I now work at a farm with my father. Uh, so it, it, in Palmital, <laughs> where, where VP... Uh, is located and I go back and forth to the inner state uh, like once once a month I stay I stay for around one week and then I come back to Sao Paulo to my home and that's my life and English has begun big, uh, has a big part in my uh, career development in my in everything actually English is was fundamental for me Well, I need to say that Maria Elena has spoken English since she was a baby because her father speaks English as well. But um, when she came to our school, it's very important to tell that, uh, um, may I say that your father's picky, is a little bit picky, that he wants... Yeah, of course, and he is, yeah. totally. He's a wonderful guy, but... Um, When he arrived to our school and he said, that's here that I want you to study because we had some approaches that would help Maria Elena so much. Um, sometimes I'm going to change to Portuguese, but I'll keep going in English. And Maria Elena, please tell them how we met, how we became friends. What did you like most by studying with me? What, did you th what do you think of me? What did you think of me then? Tell them everything. Um, we got friends. I don't even know how we got friends. I think it feels like it's forever and it always has been that way. Yeah. But Pomitao is a very small city and my parents know Rodrigo's parents and uh, they like each other very much. And so uh, when VP started and, and when VP began, actually, at the very beginning, my mom heard of it, my mom got to know it, and told my father. Um, and as they know Rodrigo, or Rod, may I, <laughs> I should say. Doesn't matter. Uh, since you are like a kid, you were a kid, and they, they, they knew you, they knew how well your English is, how, how good you are. Thank and you. <laughs> and then he, they introduced me to the school. They, they took me there and said, what do you think? And, and then we got to know the, the methods. And I think it, it began since day one. Uh, we, we became friends uh, by then. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was amazing for me. It was uh, because I've always done, I've always studied English in different schools and at, at my school, actually, at high school. And I always hated it because uh, I knew the language, but the process of teaching it is is not very um, um, likable, I should say. It's, it's boring, it's tedious, uh, as it was with Portuguese in school. So um, I, I never liked it. It, it was always like I had this, block, this blocking in, inside of me and said, well, I don't, I don't want another English school with the, the same method, with the, those books, and I will, you are, I am, he is. I hate it. I always 
disliked it. And when it, we, I came to, to VP, I told Rodrigo the first day, so I, and I don't like this method, I don't like books, I don't like the way English is taught. And so he said, okay, that's no, absolutely no problem. Let's do it your way and uh, tell me your interests. Uh, I always liked songs and, and then we, do you remember? You always gave me a song and we, yeah, we, we would discuss. Same thing at this time, you know, so. Um, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And tell them that much, much time before the pandemic, I used to teach you in Sao Paulo already. Tell them how this process yeah. was because we could keep going. I said last interview last week. But um, Maria Elena was a little bit different because I was always pushing her to the limits and making her go the extra mile. So she's, she's a wonderful English speaker and she's here to answer your questions, bring your questions and ask here whatever you want uh, because she's really amazing. And when she asked me to help her with her accent, Uh, I told her, you have so, so little work to do and we can just work and make your English a little bit more clearer, more than it already is now. But she's amazing and she kept going and um, I don't know, I want you to say how was the dynamics of our class, what you want to say, um, how my teaching English for you has helped you in a way? Tell them, please. Well, um, when I came to Sao Paulo, I, had, I came here to college, so I moved from Palmetal to Sao Paulo, so I, I didn't... Uh, back then, there the Skyping classes, this uh, mm -hmm. long-distance studying was uh, impossible. It was like 2000... And I came here to Sao Paulo in 2010, and it was... It, it never existed long distance studying. So, uh, so I told him, I, I don't want to drop school. I don't want to drop VP. And how are you going to do? Because we are so far away from each other. And then he came with the idea that we should Skype once a week. I, get, I, I think uh, it was once a week, right? Once a week. And we should kept, keep going uh, the way we do in yeah. school. We were doing it at, 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 by at Skype or by Skype mm -hmm. and and it was fine it was yeah. great it was amazing because uh, I was at my my home and it was comfortable as everybody here knows now how it feels <laughs> and yeah. it was the same fun I always had it was was just both of us con talking and me explaining how my new routine was um, being established yeah And it was just very much fun. Like and we're doing right now, we, we are just yeah. people are chatting with us. I wanna, uh, just want to point out that we have Brazilian teachers here. Jess is a Brazilian English teacher as well. Aron is my friend from Italy. And Davi is my student now. Um, so um, it's really amazing because I can tell you something very funny. Actually, I want her to tell you. There was one day that she was bored and she came to school and she said, I want to have classes, but I want to have classes in a different way. And I say, whatever you want to do, you can do it once we can talk. And she decided to sit on the floor by my side uh, on my desk. And we were talking like because <clears throat> did to make her talk and she was bored because she was still a teenager. You were on your last year in high school. I think you were a senior. Yeah. I think, I think, I don't know. I don't remember when it was. Yeah, it was your last year in high school because, yeah, you, I guess. because you were, you had lots of things to do. And then she was very, Maria Elena was very open and very, a uh, very kind person. So it was very easy to work with her. And Maria Elena, I know that you have traveled the world. You had the chance. And I want you to tell them what you think about me as a teacher, about my English, about everything that you've learned with me. Because I want people that don't know me, contact me, and uh, maybe has classes tutoring with me or whatever. Could you say that? Mm, I think for 
there is nothing to say about your English. We are uh, listening you sp as you speak right now. So uh, there is little to say. It's perfect. And because your accent is so good, I it is very easy to understand when you say, when you speak, when you talk. It's it's easy going. You just speak. And, and it, it feels, for me, it feels like you're talking in Portuguese, in my mother language. Because um, I never not understand a word to say. So mm -hmm. uh, it's very easy for me. And it always has been. And because you have... Uh, and to, to reach for other students in other languages, I think it's going to be as easy as it is for me, as it was for me, because uh, my boyfriend, he, he doesn't speak English. He has a, a very uh, infant. Mr. Yeah, and he, <laughs> exactly, he has an infant English. He, he talks like an Indian, you know? Uh, yeah. I want, I do that. I do. So he, he doesn't have a, a vocabulary also. And, When, we, when I speak to him in English, we, we were trying. I, I do speak slowly, and mm -hmm. I try to pronounce words mm -hmm. very well. But then I once played an audio of you talking to me in English, and he was like, why I do understand everything this guy is saying? I, I, I understand everything, and why? How? What, what kind of magic is this? <laughs> And it is what it is. It's just easy. Your method is perfect. It's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Most of all, it's comfortable. It's fun. Uh, because it, it's based on the person, on the student, and what the person likes and what it's, it feels nice for the person. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think that's the best. Let me just talk in Portuguese for a bit because eu tenho alguns amigos aqui. A Marli Tosi está aqui. A Jessie está aqui. Um... O Júlio está aqui, que foi meu aluno também. Eu quero fazer uma live com ele. E o que a Maria Helena está falando, gente, eu vou falar em português um pouquinho. I'm sorry, Angelo. I'm sorry, Aron. We're going to come back to English very soon. Mas, para mim, é importante, para o aluno se sentir confortável, como disse a Jesse no comentário há pouco, uh, a gente tem o professor... É, é, muito, é muito bacana a gente dizer assim, que eu digo para os meus alunos, vocês querem ser professores de inglês ou vocês querem aprender inglês? A Maria Helena, ela tem um nível de inglês que ela pode ser professora, ela pode ensinar quem ela quiser. Eu cheguei a convidá-la a dar aula na minha escola e ela falou, não, Rô, não é o meu caminho, mas ela tem toda a condição para fazer isso. Mas, assim... Inglês, a gente aprende, aprende. Só que se você tiver um professor, uma pessoa que te estimule, né? Um, então, que te estimule é muito bacana, porque a Maria Helena ficou estimulada. O que, que acontece? Ela se entediava muito fácil. Eu posso fazer isso, eu posso dizer isso, porque a gente é amigo. Ela falava, eu não gosto de nada que é tradicional. Nada que é tradicional me, me anima. Sempre Jay. Yeah. A gente analisava letras de música, ensinava gramática, entendeu? Um, e, e isso é muito importante, porque o inglês... A, a gente, o importante do inglês é a gente falar qualquer assunto. Ou seja, quando você aprende general English, que é o que eu ensino normalmente, você não precisa nichar o inglês que você, que você quer aprender. Por exemplo, ai... Ah, eu quero aprender só English Business. Não, quando você aprende o General English, a coisa vai, entendeu? Porque você mesmo se vira. Até o Ângelo pergunta, o Ângelo é do Catar, Maria Helena. Agora entrou a Zobeira, que é do Iran, tá? João Vitor Zavanelli, quanto tempo a gente não vê. Todo mundo estudou na mesma época lá na escola. Então, o Ângelo pergunta assim, Maria Helena, por que biologia? Você pode responder em inglês, por favor? Porque é, ele é do Cutter, então, e é um excelente English speaker as well. Why biology? Why biology? Um, I, it's the, it was the, the subject in school that I liked the most. I like, I always loved animals and... Um, I don't know, I've, I've grown in a farm and um, I've always had this touch and this um, 
uh, growing up with plants and animals and, and, and being around nature all the time. So that was my, my, as a, me as a, as a kid, I always, I've, I've been always involved in this, um, part of life. So, uh, as I was in high school, it was the, the subject that I liked the most. And then I, and I had a, a lot of trouble choosing my career. I had a lot of, uh, It was a bad time for me because I was very young and, and I think personally, I think that at, at 18, if we have to decide what to do for the rest of your life, it's, it's crazy. I don't even know what I want to do tomorrow when I'm 18. I, I've, we don't know stuff. We don't know life. We don't know things. So. If you think you're old right now, I am dead. Okay. <laughs> Because... No, I, I don't say old, never old, but experienced. Yeah. yeah. Experienced. But Are polished you can think yes so exactly um, polished and and i i chose biology because just answering the, the question i chose biology because um i i went from there i picked uh biology and things related to it uh so i went to human health to veterinary i went to, i've searched all the the fields that are related to biology in some way and As I read about biology itself, I, I fell in love with it. I, I loved the, the grades I had to, the, the, the subject I had to take. I, I loved the, the, the college I chose. Uh, I loved everything about it. And it, it was easy for me just to say, okay. And, I, and as I, now I work with a sugar cane farm. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's, it, it now became a, a very great thing about me because I, I was afraid not to use my degree mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. And now that I uh, work at a sugar cane farm, it's, mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been proving itself very important to me in my daily uh, occupations. So that's yeah. why I chose because I fell in love with it. That's it. <laughs> I think she has replied your question uh, and give you a nice answer. And I would like that Zobeda would come with a question because she also has great questions and she's from Iran. She has an Instagram for dedicated to English as well. And my students who are there can bring questions. We are here to talk. But I want you to know that um, if you want to learn something, you can learn it. And when Maria Elena and I met, uh, she was really very young. And I said, you can go through with it because you're talented. English is fun. Let's do it. So now you guys can see um, how well she speaks and how great she is. Uh, and um, could you read Angela's comment, please, Maria Elena? Yeah, he said, I don't know. I asked it because I was, in fact, a frustrated biologist <laughs> in high school. Biology was my favorite subject because of, of poverty. I ended up as an account <laughs> accountant. Thank you, Maria Elena. Yes. Um, our field is not recognized. It's not, uh, investments are very poor. I understand your, um, your concern and I understand what happened to you. Mo mo a lot of my, uh, colleagues, they went to the same, um, path as you went one went to accountant school and another works with their family in a um i think it's it's something related to economy too but i have a lot of photographers in my yeah. as a colleagues so uh, people that have i have a great story of of one that he always loves animals so he went to zoology and he opened here in sao paulo he i think he inherited i don't know but uh, he has a big place with mm -hmm. a lot of garden here in sao paulo that mm -hmm. he turned it turned it into um a foster home and uh, a, a little school for dogs you know where you can drop your pets and they teach your pets to you know do stuff and then mm -hmm. they they you 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 take them back at the end of the day and hotels for for pets mm -hmm. so People, people try their best, and I think uh, it's good. Ma, there's a question from Zobeda from Iran, and she asks, how did you develop such good accent? Give my students some advice. Besides having class with teacher Rod, 
What else? Did of you course. <laughs> Before, besides the obvious, how did I? I don't know. I don't. Well, I read a lot in English, and I read it out loud. And I always liked it. My father speaks English too. Mm -hmm. And what we like to do, and I did with Rodrigo a lot, mm -hmm. was I I like to read a text out loud. And mm -hmm. I, I got something, um, even if it's a song lyric, I don't know, some some texts, any, yeah. any of it. And I read it out loud, and the person that's listening to me would correct my accent. Mm -hmm. um, so if I say something wrong, the person goes to me, and, or Rod or my father would, would say, no, this is spoken that way. So I would repeat the word until I get it right. And... Uh. Uh -huh. And I watch TV in English a lot too. I, I never use translations, so it's subtitles and subtitles in English also. And yeah. I, I, I stay at my place, even if it is, I'm not really actually watching it. Mm -hmm. I would turn it on and just Let kept it, go. it going, you know, yeah. And then I would do my, my, my things d during the day, listening to English and listening to people talking, especially friends, you know, those kind of series. That are also famous, like uh, Big Bang Theory, for example. They have a great American accent, and and it it makes the song of the 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 language in your yeah. ear. You 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 get it. I don't know. It, I think it, it was that. All well, the ins and outs of the language, like Portuguese, yeah. there's its ins and outs. In English, has its ins and outs as well. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that I want to mention, Zobeta, that's really funny, because Maria Elena gets the accent very easily. So she used to shadow very much. If she watched an English movie, she would come talking to me like a British person. If she watched an American, <laughs> she would talk to me like an American. So uh, uh, teaching English for her was, was really funny. I like to say that English is a wonderful addition. We are addict, addict to English, you know. I love English. She loves English. I think the fact of loving English is um, something that uh, brings the best of you inside, you know. And it doesn't matter the accent you have. Once you are understood and people re respond to you the way you need, it's amazing, you know. Maria Elena is a great case that we have in my school and in my job. And she's always remembered. But um, I want you to bring questions because she's very resourceful. And let me see what Aron has just written. It's a thing that it comes out automatically after practicing for a long time. Yes, you're completely right. Eu, you know what? what? Say hi to Pedro, who's there as well. I hope you're fine. All right? And, uh, one thing that I do a lot to... It, it may sound weird, but I am weird. I'm sorry. That's who I am. <laughs> I talk to myself a lot. <laughs> you know, when you're saying, oh, now I'm going to... And I, I think out loud the whole time, and then I, I just talk to myself alone. And mm -hmm. it may seem weird, but I talk to myself in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every time that I'm alone in my car, and I, I'm just chatting with myself in English, and it helps. Well, I identify with you because I have the same problem, and I think it's some, something that comes for only, only children. We are only children. I'm the only one for my parents, and, yeah. and you're the only one for your parents. So yeah. we, talk alone very, we talk by ourselves very much. You know, sometimes uh, Talita comes to my room for somebody who, who doesn't know Talita is my wife, and I'm talking alone. You know, so uh, <laughs> I am weird too. Besides my my disability, I am weird in many ways because sometimes I am practicing English alone. I see a new word and I want to learn. So um, sometimes I look at the mirror to see what's going on with the movements in my mouth, and I think it's absolutely that that Marie Elena is saying right now. Yeah, so absolutely. I think it's amazing, and, and I want you guys to bring questions and talk to us because we're here. E meus amigos que estão aí que falam português, a gente vai postar isso no no Instagram, uh, também vai subir para o YouTube. Não esqueçam de seguir o meu canal do Rod VIP IDP, que é Rod VIP IDP, tá bom? 
porque eu fiquei conhecido assim lá fora, fiz muitos amigos, e o Mr. Brand Watson started calling me Rod VIP IDP, so my channel is called Rod VIP IDP now. Uh, Maria Helena, tell them uh, something funny about um, the thing uh, with English. What was one of the funniest things that happened to you? Somebody mistaken you as an American person, or something funny that you wanted to say something and you said another thing because of the when sound? They, when they, here in Sao Paulo, it happens a lot that people think that I'm American. I think by, by, because of my looks, maybe. Yeah. But people always think that I'm American. So um, it's common so people, for people to come to me and speaking in English. Mm -hmm. Just like that, oh, hello. And I'm like, hi, eu falo português. <laughs> and they're like, oh my god, I'm sorry, you know. But the funniest thing that ever happened to me was one day I went to the United States and I just it was a really, really, really long flight and I was absurdly tired. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Like, where are you headed? I, I went I went to New York and it was very cold when I got there and it was like five in the morning. I was just so, so tired. And do you know that at a point that you get so tired that you cannot not even think properly? Mm -hmm. So I was like a zombie. And, and I went to the taxi lane to, to, to get a taxi to my hotel. And then I was um, putting my bags in the car. And the, the taxi driver was helping me. And he looked at me and said, where are we going? And I just, oh, it took me that long. I was... Oh, this man is talking to me. Why? What does he want? <laughs> so it, all of that in my head. Portuguese, by the way. Complete, it, all in my head. And I was, I was like looking at him with this very big what face, you know? <laughs> it was <laughs> and, I was like, and he was like, where are we going? And I was, when I started to think about some answer, because I had to think, oh, well, we are going to my hotel. I don't know where the hotel is. So let me get, you know, I was thinking of that. So, so slowly he looked at me and he was very angry and yeah. he started to scream at my face like that, like here, he was here, his face. Yeah. And he, was, he started to scream, where are we going? And I was like, sir. Yeah. Take it easy. I'm just going to get my. Oh, you speak English. Yeah, I do speak English. Then he was like, "Hey, why didn't you answer me at the first minute? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir." And I started crying in front of him. <laughs> I, I was not fine that day. But, <laughs> I, I, I also am not afraid to afraid to fly. Uh, once we were going from we were going to Los Angeles, and it was a very long flight. I was really tired, and I slept on the, the whole, the whole flight. And, but, but I didn't see anything because I don't care about turbulence. I said, I think like that, that's not that I'm not afraid of um, uh, planes. Okay. I think that once we are there, we have to believe in God and go ahead, you know, yeah. so whatever happens, happens. And I slept and um, Talita told me later that there was a huge turbulence and she was trying to wake me up please wake up please wake up I said, Let me see what's going on and then i didn't uh, and i didn't wake up you know when she wanted me to and then when i woke and when i woke up next morning actually i think yeah it was very pretty early next morning and she said i wanted you to wake up because we had uh, oxygen masks already <laughs> down to our faces and you didn't wake up but everything went back to normal And I said, what could I have done if you walked up and couldn't do anything, you know? But uh, these fun stories and these experiences are, are the ones who are really worth telling, you know? So um, I think that that's why we need to learn English and deal with situations. Um, but um, let's, let's speak in Portuguese just a little bit. Uh, okay. Eu queria falar para vocês em português e que a Má dissesse de novo o quanto foi bom a gente ter estudado junto, é, sabe, tudo isso, porque ela foi uma excelente aluna, sabe, uma grande amiga, vocês viram o inglês dela, vocês sabem o inglês que ela tem, 
É, eu vi o Diego falando na fila que ele quer que eu deixe o inglês dele igual o seu. A gente... A gente tá, prometo que eu vou tentar. É, a gente é para isso. Mas... É, a Maria Helena é um talento, é um carinho, é uma amizade. É uma amiga de muitos anos. Agora eu acho que eu vou começar uma, empre... uma empreitada com o Mr. Ram, que é o namorado dela. Espero que a gente consiga fazer alguma coisa para ajudá-lo. E eu quero mais perguntas. I don't know if Zobeira, Aron, Diego, if you guys have any questions, uh, bring, bring them. And uh, because we're here to talk to you guys. All right? Oi, Yasmin, tudo bem aí? Você estava curiosa para conhecer a Maria Helena. Essa é a Maria Helena, porque eu falei de você ontem. Oi, Yasmin. Eu falei de você ontem para um grupo que eu estava dando aula e eles ficaram super curiosos que eu falei que eu ia fazer um, um VIP chat com você hoje e eles ficaram super, assim, atentos e ligados. Mas, uhum. assim, I only have to thank you because uh, of the person you are, the friend that you are, for always being vouching for my uh, professionalism, for the way I work, Uh, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for being the person you are, the friend you are. You know, I don't have words to conceive how much I like you. My my family likes you. My children like you. You know, you're a very special friend. And it was an honor to be a teacher for you for four or five years of my life. You have a very special place in my heart, all of you. Mm -hmm. It was a great time in my life to uh, as I remember it it was an amazing time to have um, so much fun what learn English with you learning English with you um, it, it's a time that I remember very um, fondly yeah uh, when I think of it it's uh, it has been delicious and when people ask me nowadays what have I done to, to learn English what have I done to to speak uh, well The answer is, well, I met the, the right person. I, I met the right school and uh, I, I was lucky. I was lucky enough to it. So um, I, don't, I don't have uh, a better answer. And um, I always say that it, it has been so, so important to me. And yeah. it was actually when I say I, I studied English, I didn't. Actually, I had fun with you. So, yeah. oh, I, I'm going to my classes. No, I'm going to have fun. And, and that's, that was the most uh, important part of it, I think. And as I said, I always hated everything that is traditional. Everything. I, since school to life itself. And uh, because you are so untraditional, can I say that? Non-traditional. Non-traditional. Yeah. You're so non-traditional. I think it was amazing for me because it was just fun and it was easy. It was uh, brilliant. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you. It, it's, my English, it's because of you. That's all. That's so kind of you. Let me say something. Angelo said that you are, if you join Miss Brazil, uh, the, the, the contest, you know, Angelo from Qatar. <laughs> This, this, this girl, I know her for many years, Angelo, and she's the person that you are seeing right now. She's spontaneous. She has her heart um, out in her sleeve, you know, so um, yeah. she's lovely. And thank you for vouching for my English again. Uh, but the star here today is you. I want to make the guests the stars, you know, so... You are the star today. Thank you very much. I am with um, great students right now from Sao Paulo, from all over the country, friends. Uh, I have a student from Taiwan. I have students everywhere, and I'm so happy that it's working. Let me say hi to Doris, my friend from AFS, Mexico. I love you so much. Uh, we are talking about English and my profession here. This is Maria Helena, my student. And um, I do this live streams every Saturday, Maria Helena, because I want to bring people together uh, mm -hmm. to 
to see that it's possible to speak English. It's not uh, difficult. You just need dedication. If you want to do something, you do something. And what's mo the most important thing for me is the fact that uh, people know that I am disabled, but I discovered a passion where I could work, you know, like a teaching English because I could, I can teach sitting in a chair or whatever, you know, so I can spread knowledge, a little bit of knowledge that I have with the English language to people, you know, and um, I think that uh, them listening to your talk today, to the things that you are saying, how important English is because we have the same mindset. It is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I just want to thank you and I want to see if people have some more questions or, or I let you go and we finish for today. This is my mentor, you know, um, Mr. Brent Watson, the man who turned my life around and made me known in his channel. And look what he's saying about you. I literally thought she was a native English speaker. Oh, so, come on. You're too kind. No. He <laughs> is a great man. He's a great man. One day I was in the United States and uh, this guy came to me and I was talking with someone else. Mm -hmm. And this, this I, I think his name was Jake. He came to me and he was looking at me like this. And I was like, is, is there something in my teeth? What? I, what are you doing? <laughs> and he was like, I I can't, I don't know, where are you from? Alabama, maybe? <laughs> and I was like, no, sweetie. I'm not from here, from Brazil. Then, wow, you have such a different accent. I've, I guess I've never heard Brazilian speaking. And I said, well, yeah. It was the same guy that thought the Brazil, uh, Brazilian mother language was Spanish. So yeah. I said, well, maybe, maybe you should. Yeah. <laughs> A funny story. The, first, the very first time I traveled to New York, they asked me if uh, if we had snakes on the streets. Uh, oh, yes. We had a lot Lots. of us to go to school. If we were grass skirts, I said, no, sir. We, are, we have the same thing. But we are a third world country. But um, yes, English is passion. And... Um, Thank you for, you are too, too, too kind to say that you learned English because of me. You are a true talent. I just did my job the best way I could. I really enjoy that you liked to be my student and we became friends. Uh, when I told you what was going on with the interview that I, that I, um, did with Brent and you started to cry and people from all over the world was making friendships and having new students every time that Brent comes in I get a bit nervous so I <laughs> words because you know somebody who you really admire and you really look up to like this man knows how to teach people he's a literally a global citizen you know somebody I don't have words to describe them, you know? So um, thanks to him, everything has changed. And I was known uh, by a lot of people. And I am so happy and so filled with uh, love and respect from these people who are watching us right now. And um, for me, this is amazing. From a guy who had to start walking at four years old, giving his... Uh, taking his first steps at four years old, that's too much. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, everybody. Um, but thank you, Maria Elena, for being so kind, so lovely, and telling everybody that I was the one responsible for all the English that you have now. Of course, I helped you, but uh, the talent is yours, always. You're amazing. You it's because of you, all of it. And I always say um, you, people should reach out for you because I think you are the solution. <laughs> and I always recommend your, your, your school and your methods, yeah. which uh, yeah. it has been a blessing for me you know, to, to get to know you. And English, as I said before, 
it was a very um, massive part of my career dev development. And um, because uh, right after I got out, out of, of college, I went to I went to a, a business uh, part of my life. So I went I, I went like business like to the office, learn uh, working with accountability. And uh, there was this very uh, strong culture in this firm, which is Price Waterhouse Coopers, by the way. Yeah. And uh, there was a strong um, culture of English there. And uh, because of my English, because of what I've learned with you, um, I, I got even a bonus in my paycheck. So <laughs> I had to take a, a test. I took a, a, a TOEIC. Yeah. And uh, because of I scored like A's, I think, and yeah. because of my 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 score, I I, I got a bonus. So you remember <laughs> take TOEFL anyway. You gotta take TOEFL. You gotta take TOEFL, and you did, and you were one of the best scores of the group. Yeah, and I remember she could be from Miami. You know, yeah, she could be from Miami because she's really a uh, Brazilian. Uh, she has different features, you know, and traits that uh, are a little bit different from Brazilians. But um, she's an amazing person. And thank you very much for being my friend all of those years. We sometimes um, call each other on the phone. And I invited her for this interview. And I remember I was telling you, when was it? Thursday that I called Wait. you on? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. yeah coming back from uh, Palmitao and then you're traveling to Sao Paulo. And I started to tell her about my interview with Brent, how things were going, um, how much love I was receiving from everywhere. And uh, she sent me a, an audio message, literally crying because, um, could you tell what you said on the text message that was really beautiful? You said something like, the talent that you have, keep going. Uh, I was, I am shy to tell it myself, but it was so heartwarming for me. What did you say, please? Just a little bit. I was, I was very emotional by then. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I, I think it was something like um, the talent that you have, it's, it's something that um, when you have this kind of talent, uh, things happen to, to good people, you know, and to, to people with that, that much passion in what you do and, and with so much talent as you have. Yeah. And uh, it was only the right thing to happen to you because it was meant to be, you know. Um, I think, I, I believe in balance of life, you know, in, in between good and bad. And when you're that good, something's about to, to something very good is about to happen to you, you know. And uh, this, uh, this career uh, development that there are people here, <laughs> this career development uh, that is going on with you is, uh, it's, it's the right thing. It, it should happen. And, and I think from now on, things are going to be even better because of who you are, because of the good you have in your heart and, and the passionate way that you do your work. That's, that's meant to be, you know? So. Yeah. My voice starts breaking here because uh, I literally, everybody that I know or everybody that I meet, I always tell the truth. And the first word that I bring with me is uh, honesty, being true, not lying to anyone, and also uh, my family, you know, my children, my wife, my parents. This is all that I have. You know that. So um, I'll never... One thing that I think that is important for you to have a career or to learn something is being down to earth. Uh, I'll never be somebody, oh, I'm... I'm an English teacher. No, I am a Brazilian who teaches English. And um, I always try to do my best for everybody that I know and uh, dedicate myself 100%. I do the hard work. You did the hard work. I These people that are here, they are amazing. And I don't know how to say thank you enough for every one of you for meeting you guys and having the opportunity to to stay together in live streams from american english with this guy 
uh, Brent is here listening to us. I am a little bit shaken yet because he knows um, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan and I am, I learned a lot. I learn a lot. And I like to say that I like to study and help, e and help people very much because we have to be global citizens. And this man, Brent Watson, he's a global citizen, a global citizen because he can navigate through any kind of country or culture and be brilliant, you know? So I do my job now, I get very inspired. I had a change of career that made you so, um, so uh, excited, Maria Elena, because I know how much you like the, the things that I do and uh, I like reinventing myself and this is what I'm doing right now. These people are amazing. Thank you guys very much. And thank you for being such a lovely friend, for my family, for being my student, for being so talented, you know? Thank you for inviting me and thinking of me when you have this project, this amazing project, and you can always uh, know that you can count on me on to everything mm -hmm. because I will always be here for you and supporting you and cheering and recommending uh, rec recommending you to people and I, I will always be here and there for you. So thank you for remembering me and I feel honored to be here. Of course. I think the greatest secret for everything is to be true. I am 100% true, authentic, whatever you want to call it. If I want to say I like somebody, I tell I like somebody, sometimes I get disappointed along the way, but I did my part, you know? So you know how I am. If I like somebody, if I can do something to help them, I do, but to do the other way around, I'll never do it, you know? So um, thank you, you're amazing. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a student. Thank you for your time. And I hope we can meet on Monday for a, a Mr. Ram interview. I will confirm on Sunday. <laughs> thank you very much for remembering me. Thank you for inviting me. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Leave me your feedback. Text me on uh, on Facebook Messenger if you want to. You you all have me enjoy. I hope you have enjoyed. It was a lovely chat. This girl is amazing. I say girl because I know her for in a very long time. And thank you for your lovely words about me and my family. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome, Sudi. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye all. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, dearest.